Hello and welcome to another C++ tutorial. In this video we're gonna learn about the size of operator. The size of operator helps us to determine the size of a, the size of anything that takes some amount of memory in C++. As an example, when I told when I explained variables to you guys, I told you that variables take some amount of memory space whenever they are stored inside our computer. So what happens is different types of variables take different amount of memory space. As an example, in my computer, in my compiler, you may have a different uh, compiler and uh, a different kind of machine. In my case, in my compiler, the integer variable takes 4 bytes of memory, whereas the character variable takes 1 bytes of memory. So, as you can see, different types of variables take different amounts of memory, and we can determine how much memory it takes by using that size of operator. So, let's go and check out some examples. Now, the very first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create an integer variable called a and I'm gonna put a value of 5 in it. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm gonna create a variable called size. So inside the size variable I'm going to put the value the size of the the size of the variable a which is determined by the size of operator. So let's write the size of operator. You have to write size of and within the brackets you have to write the variable or anything of which you want to get the size. So in this case we are going to get the size of A. So we write A within brackets after the size of. So what will happen is it will determine the size of A and it will return the size of A and the return value will get stored in size. So size now the si the variable size now has the size of A or how much memory it takes. So let's go and print out the value of size so that we can see in our own eyes how much how much space it takes. So let's go and run it. And it is running and as you can see since it's an integer variable it takes 4 bytes of memory. It takes 4. Now your computer or your compiler may have a different amount but don't worry about that. You just go and determine it by the size of operator. Now let's check it for some other kind of variables. Let's check it for character variables. Let's create a character variable called C and within it we are going to uh, store a character called A. So now we're gonna get the value of that so now we are storing the value A, character A inside C and we are getting the value of C by the size of operator and we are returning the value to size variable and finally we are printing. We are doing the same task. So let's go and run it and see what happens. As you can see the character variable takes only one, uh, only one byte. Okay. So by this thing you can actually get the value of any variable or anything. As an example, suppose I create an array, integer array, and I put five integers inside it. Okay, so I have got an array which takes five integers. So let me go ahead now and let delete this because otherwise you will get an error because it is an array and it is also A. Or you can change the name to ARR. So let's name it ARR. Okay, so what will happen is now I have created an integer array of size 5 and I'm going to put the name ARR inside it. So what will happen is it will return me the size of the whole array and it will put it inside and it will print. So let's go and see what will the output. If I run it, as you can see, the output is 20. Can you guys guess why? Because from previous things we know that each integer variable takes 4 bytes of memory. Now here we have 5 integer variables. So 5 times 4 that is 20. So the whole array takes 20 bytes of memory. Now uh, 
if we want to get the value of each variable uh, get the memory taken by each variable we're going to divide we're going to divide it by the size of size of array 0 so what is happening here is we are dividing the whole size of array by the size of a single variable okay the size of a single variable and the whole size of array so by this we can determine how many variables are there in the array so if I run it as you can see it says five variables so this was the basics of the size of operator I hope you guys liked this tutorial and enjoyed it and above all learn something so please subscribe and like and share and if you have any questions just write those in comments and make sure to like and subscribe thank you